Hello, 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 my good students. Welcome back to our Imperial Japanese Navy Let's Play series of the Pacific Mod for War on the Sea. We have the Hiryu now steaming very quickly towards uh, our operational area to back up our now uh, very much forming a Kido Batai uh, group. We just need the Soryu now, I believe, and then uh, we'll, we'll fiddle about uh, with uh, the more minor adjustments to uh, recreate that a little more accurately later on. But the major thing is we have the one more carrier to get out for that. The only problem with that is we're going to be extremely intensive on our use of supplies, engineering and fuel to restock any planes that we do use there. Um, and that is something we're struggling with already, to be honest, especially now that we've got the um, island hopping campaign going. We're trying to take the vowel there, uh, which is still a bit of a struggle. Let's go to the strategic map and catch up on that, shall we? Okay, so uh, the day is um, the 5th of March, 1942, day 86 in this uh, campaign. It's a long old time into this, isn't it? If this were the standard campaign, we'd probably be about done now, to be honest. But it's not, and here we are. So the Hiryu is over here. We have, uh, let's see, how long is that going to take to come down? 17 and a half hours to join up with Akagi over here. And that is excellent. The Akagi's air groups are looking fairly strong. Lost a few Kates there, or a fair amount of Kates. That's not a bother. Zeros are out scouting, and that is fine. The operation on Deval is going okay as well. Slightly undersupplied there, but uh, we'll watch the burnout for the moment. There's more the troops burnout I'm worried about, to be honest, because supplies themselves aren't generally an issue there. But the balance of power very much in our favour there. Uh, because we have just turned the game on, we can see some nearby enemy task forces. Namely this and this over here, two possible supply convoys for the Americans there. And we do see what is quite likely another uh, submarine over here. So we're going to launch, can we launch from Guam? Mm, not particularly. I'd rather get zero simply because they're quicker. Um, Judy's might do the job, but they'll dive bomb that. Um, could be very spicy and try and carpet bomb it with some Bettys. Um, but it's just a bit much there. Uh, tell you what, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll launch some... Um, actually, can we launch some depth charges with our scouts over here? That might be an idea. Do we have any scouts available? Got a couple available. Let's launch... Um, some peats with oh, I've got bombs on the peats. That's a bit. That's a bit. That's a bit. What can we launch from Nagato? Yeah, peats with bombs again. Mm, got a Jake over here, which can launch uh, depth charges. It says depth charge. Is that a single depth charge? <laughs> um, that's an interesting one. Uh, we'll leave that then, to be honest, it's just a single one. We'll go to the CVs here and just launch some zeros from Kaga. Uh, we will launch uh, just six, I think, and we'll launch those with bombs. They'll go straight over there, try and hit that. One or two hits will do the job there, but it's never guaranteed, is it? Um, we do, of course, have these over here we want to look at. We can launch perhaps some Mavises over there with torpedoes uh, to deal with that one at a time over there. That's excellent. How are we looking on trucks since we've resupplied there? Not too bad, but I do need some fuel over there. That's absolutely fine. Um, we have some coming in here in the form of our minor resupplies. That will come in with 97 fuel and 2,000 supplies there. And the uh, 2,000 supplies, not overly needed, but just in case we do get attacked on track, if they do decide to launch an invasion there, the supplies there will absolutely help us out. Uh, no problem. How are we looking on Peleliu then? Uh, not the best. We have stripped that pretty much bare, haven't we, um, from the invasion on Deval. That's okay. Um, we're looking then, if we go to our major supplies uh, over here, this is the engineering task force with uh, 150 fuel and a big odd amount of engineering and a few supplies there to actually build up Saipan. Um, of course, we're not going to be able to build it up in just the one run, but it will mean that we're operational there to actually use the Bettys and Geckos and such over there rather than sit at zero, which is excellent. Um, where are our more major resupplies then? They are coming down here, I believe. Let's go through that. Um, miners, invasions. So, yeah, they're coming down here with some troops and such. Uh, we might want to chuck them on Deval. We might keep them in reserve. We'll see how this goes over the course of the next couple of days, firstly, shall we? 
want to launch something from Peleliu, uh, but we don't have any Mavises up because we have them scousing. I will look over for them. They may well be, yeah, they're here. I will stop these from scousing so much because we don't necessarily need them at the moment. Uh, we had those out to look out for that King George task force, which has retreated off, thank God. So let's take six Bessies. We will take them with... Um, tell you what, we'll take them with... Um, it's going to be six of them. Take them with four 250 kilogram general purpose bombs and just... Uh, carpet bomb these. We could of course launch zeros from the Unryu over here or just take a surface engagement with that of course would be t wouldn't be difficult at all but I'd rather just uh, use uh, the airfield planes for the minute. So the goal of today is uh, finally take the vow and uh, get the island hopping campaign moving forwards I think. Let's keep going see if we can get this sub especially. Okay, so um, a fair few days have passed and I've let that happen because we've not really sighted anything really. Sighted a couple cargo ships here and there going towards um, the Philippines, so we've sunk those. Um, and we have managed to resupply truck fairly well there, um, looking very, very nice indeed for a couple of resupplies there. And we've reinforced Saipan as well, it has a lot of engineering on there, but not quite enough fuel of course to upgrade that. So that'll be uh, the task for the next uh, minor resupply group I think. Um, but we have just stopped now because we have sighted what appears to be a battleship group sent out some Mavises down here from Peleliu to search this area of the south of it because we have been noticing some scouts coming off here. Um, so we're going to see what these Zero has spotted and hope it's nothing too big. Where are they? Can't see them there. Right to our left there's another King George. <laughs> you could, put a, could have put money on it couldn't you? Uh, in your Orleans and a Brooklyn as well as an assortment of destroyers. Not a bother there at all. There's a British destroyer there. Um, let's see, there's another one here. Excellent stuff. Um, what have we got here? Is that a Sims, I believe? And what's the number two? Uh, Gridley or Bagley there. Okay, cool. So uh, once again, um, I think we'll try and strike the cruisers, really. How many King Georges do we have left? can't be loads now, they've sent all of them at us. <laughs> uh, this is the last one, okay. Interesting, maybe we'll go for that then, so they bloody stop coming our way. Maybe we'll see some um, Renowns come through. Uh, let's see, they have, do have a couple. Got the Renown and Repulse, of course. Um, I really do want to see those actually, a very interesting uh, class of ship there. Uh, there's nothing we could do with this Zero, of course, so uh, let's come out and just mark that up over here shall we did remove the uh, map notes for the um, New Mexico over here uh, because that's just gone so far out of sight still lurking about um, which is a tab worrying because um, it could be coming over this way uh, we're actually going to get this patrolling a bit better here we might get it to patrol all the way up to Manila and back actually 
get that out very quickly. Not going to make that a re returning patrol. I do want to get some more submarines out um, at some point just so that we can look at um, controlling the Philippines a little better and uh, sending people down to uh, the Guadalcanal and the Solomon Islands there. Um, that might be our next purchase when we get resupplied because I don't think merchant ships are going to get us too far anymore. There's only so many supplies we can ferry about. Um, and I think we're okay for surface ships at the moment other than reinforcing this with the second battleship. Uh, that's not to worry there too much. So uh, let's try and hunt this down. We do now have Akagi and Hiryu about. Uh, we're going to move these over to the north of Peleliu there and try and keep scouting that out. Okay, so it appears this task force not necessarily interested in bombarding Guam just yet. Uh, we're going to assume this is the uh, same task force we've just uh, um, sighted previously. Has been a whole day since we last sighted that. We're going to keep some Mavises out here to um, have a look at that. We might try and bomb it with some Bessies. Uh, we'll keep a couple Mavises out at the moment just to help out with that. Going to keep them with nothing on them because they do get an amazingly large um, stock of fuel there to help them out. Just keep that circling around for now. Uh, we might think about some Bessies. We do have a fair few available. We've got uh, six Bessies and six Judies. Um, might just altitude bomb that for the minute with that. Uh, we'll just see if we can keep sight of it firstly. See which direction it's going because we do have our submarines uh, moving in on this, of course. Uh, let's ignore that, let that pass through. Get our submarines a tad closer, bring them over to truck. I'm going to um, wager that they're going to come a bit closer to truck then, if that's the case. We can remove our map note here since they're so far away from it there. And keep this Mavis scousing over here. Mm. Let's try. Just keep contact with that for now. I think we're going to try and bomb it since our submarines aren't getting too close. Of course with AP bombs. Only six, so even if they all hit, uh, we're not expecting a sinkage here. But I think that'll do. We can come back. Let's have a look. Mm, yeah, this is exactly the same task force. Um, we made the mistake of trying to level bomb cruisers in the previous video, didn't we? So I think I'm going to go for the battleship here. Uh, if we just let that uh, go up on the map. Yeah, there we go. Um, we've come in far too close once again. We might have to go for the side there. We might just have to go for the side there. Because if we try and faff around with our angle and go from the, either the bow or the rear there, um, we're going to start losing Bessies too quickly there. So I'm going to... Get a break with everyone. And I do have to tell them to attack individually, unfortunately, but that's okay. Not to worry. Might just increase their speeds, though, just to help them out a tad. And that'll be lovely like that. All good. All good. Lovely and indeed jubbly. Let's go. Fingers crossed uh, we don't lose any Bessies, but again, uh, they are made of um, just explosions. <laughs> Historically, weren't they known by the Americans as, uh, um, I can't remember the exact uh, phrase they used, but uh, they were infamously flammable. Yeah, there's one. I'll we'll just pass through. Yeah, it'll be okay there. All good, not to worry. They're, uh, I want to say retreating, but uh, they're mispositioning themselves, not being a major direct threat at the moment. There's one uh, bomb miss. Oh, there's one on the bow. Oh, there's a couple on the bow by the looks of it. One on the rear. I'll take that. Very, very nice indeed. That would appear to be everyone's drop then. Ah, uh, just the two hits. Not to worry. That's okay. Oh, I lost another Bessie there. That's unlucky. Um, so that'll be minor damage. Just something to help uh, <laughs> build up the damage over time. Grain by grain, the rice sack fills, of course. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Let's get out of there and keep shadowing this, I think. We're told, of course, the Bessies to return to base. Did lose three there, unlucky, unfortunately. Uh, we'll get the Mavises a 
about here, just keep following on like that. So they still have a huge reserve of fuel there. Um, well, since that one's going out here, we'll try going more northerly over here. That is lovely. And keep going like that. So I will report back to you in the future. Uh, well, okay, so we're going to have to make some very quick maneuvers here. We've caught them right in our face with our submarines here, but nowhere near an ideal perpendicular angle here. We're going to have to dive down to, uh, let's just say, 30 meters or so um, and try and come from both sides if possible here. Um, right, do that again just to make sure we're breaking and working uh, in different groups there. Let's go down to about 40 meters with this sub, 40 with this one. We do have our scope up. Let's bring that down. Um, what are they doing? Uh, I thought I was curving. I thought that I was taking evasive maneuvers there. So it's uh, towards the evening. It's 1913 hours. Visibility is 57% on scattered weather, uh, but there's no layer depth for us to hide under. So uh, we're going to have to be very quick about this. I wish we could go just that much quicker. At least get to a 10 knots with our uh, subs. Uh, when they're submerged. That's not to worry at all. Still think about the King George, but uh, it's very tempting since we have two submarines to go for the heavy cruisers. Um, at least, well, it was only one heavy cruiser, but you get the idea. Um, so I want to go for one cruiser at least, um, since we do have the two submarines. So we'll see about that. We're going to uh, increase the time compression here because there's not a lot we can do otherwise. Just need to be able to get some distance so we can then turn back in for a perpendicular angle. But I'm very worried about their um, sonar, of course, from these uh, destroyers since we're being that close to them. Um, having said that, though, we're going to start targeting and identifying these ships um, so that we don't need to waste time later. We're going to go for the Brooklyn. Uh, where are we? It should be the first. There we go. There's a lot to go through there. Uh, we've only sunk the one so far as well. And we do, of course, have the final King George over there. So, what's the distance? Four kilometers, but that's only because, yeah, they're very quickly getting that much closer to us. It's going to be absolutely point blank. I will turn over here to our starboard with this one. And we can reduce our speed a tad, and we will turn to ports with this submarine and reduce our speed a tad there. We're losing sight simply because we're not facing them directly. Of course, we do know where they are. There we go. And we'll go to periscope depth. That's a very slow speed here. We go at two knots like that, and we'll get some torpedoes in the tubes there. We'll go for... Uh, four. Not that it's difficult to miss at this range, but you never know. And yeah, I think we'll increase the speed here to make our turn that much better. This is extremely dangerous. <laughs> uh, I'm expecting to lose a submarine here. It's going to be very, very difficult to escape. In fact, we might want to change this to go for the King George, really. Or just go for the Brooklyn, perhaps. Hmm. If we go for the Brooklyn here, I think. Just the one ship. And we dive down here. What is our test step for this? 60 meters. So we'll just uh, up that to 60. And just get out here, I think, to be honest. S reduce the amount of noise and making go a tad slower there. Wait for the Brooklyn to be right on top of us, but at the same time, we might be a little too close to them now for our torpedoes to truly activate. That's going to be a problem. Very, very spicy indeed. <laughs> oh, do we make it that much more insulting and raise our periscope? That's the question. Might as well wave and uh, high-five them, to be honest. Looks like their formations are making a few changes there. It's not exactly how I'd expect it. But uh, we need to start firing out now. Uh, we've got a five-degree lead there. Only going to fire the three torpedoes there, actually, and just go out now, I think, with a two-degree spread. Yeah, we're less than a kilometre away from them. I wonder if these torpedoes will even activate properly. 
Uh, but now that we've got those out, we need to go to silence, reduce our depth there quite a bit. We have the test depth of 100 meters with this type uh, A, I believe it is, but is that too close? Is that too close is the question. Uh, might well be. We'll get two hits then. Maybe should have uh, launched out a fourth torpedo there, but you know what? It's pressure. <laughs> There's so much pressure, and they will have found us. Um, oh, I've made this one up scope, have I? Down that, that's interesting, just looking at that. Um, having said they're going to find us, um, not hearing any sonar pings. That's very, very interesting in Indeed, actually. Hmm. Be tempted just to retreat out of that. We'll give this uh, Brooklyn some time. Oh, it's sinking. Excellent. That's because then I suppose it's taking just massive flooding on the bow by the looks of it. So I'm no, uh, no Sherlock Holmes, but that looks like that's where it's concentrated. Of course, that's where uh, the torpedoes are focused. Um... But yeah, just overwhelming flooding on the bow there. Look at that. So uh, quite a budget kill, to be honest. Um, we can hear that coming off the destroyer there. Can we hear it bouncing off of our submarine? Mm. It's very interesting. I get the feeling they do know where this submarine is. Yeah, we can hear the sonar ping now. They'll be dropping now, won't they? Be unfortunate to lose a uh, Type A here. There we go, we're dropping now. Uh, let's get down to that and see what they're doing. That's the wrong uh, wrong one. Not landing too close. We've got a couple here that will be landing close. Ooh, not launching too many. I don't think the British destroyers have too many... Um, depth charges to use, but uh, these Americans certainly will. Certainly will. If we can get to their rear though, they should lose uh, contact with us. And they're making it easier for us, passing over like this. This is, uh, <laughs> it must be dropping here with this uh, particular destroyer. Come on. We'll let this pass over and I think we'll just retreat out. We'll give them the chance to hunt us there. But now that we're on the rear of them, yeah, they have dropped here. Going to keep up the uh, damage control statuses here. Yeah, we're taking one on the frontal compartments. They'll take one on the rear as well as it just uh, passes through us there. That'll explode there. Yeah, we're certainly going to lose this uh, submarine now. We've got some heavy damage and critical flooding. Not a lot else we can do about that, unfortunately. That'll go down. Uh, maybe if we manoeuvred a tad, could have uh, avoided that. Looks like have we been very cheeky over here? They have. Oh, that's, uh, that's a bit of a shame, guys, there. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, let's just stop with this one. Before they pick that one up. Give this a second to see what happens, but I'm sure we will lose it. Might even be scuttled if we just retreat. So I think retreat we will. Really? Yeah, got away with that though on uh, heavy and critical flooding, but um, I might send that home to repair, to be honest. I thought I'd press the wrong button there. Okay, cool. We'll send this uh, home back to, all the way back to Kure to repair there. Um, it's not the biggest uh, loss there, but uh, you know, it's it's all uh, affect us. Certainly affect us. Uh, but not to worry at. Ooh. So let's carry on. And there we go, guys. Just got the notification that Deval is now under our control. If we just uh, move this about, it will now. There we go. I didn't note that properly. We've burnt through the supplies there, though. Very happy the troops haven't uh, been lost too heavily there. But um, 
the supplies are quite the issue actually. We've burnt through so, so many. Um, have we just been resupplied then at Kude? Um, don't think we have just yet. I will let that, um, actually yes we have, we have to have been because we have the uh, command points there. Interesting. So it's uh, three and a half thousand uh, troops there now, which is not huge at all. Let's load up the uh, Kokuryu Marus then. Yeah, look at that. You have to take all of them there. Vile. Absolutely vile. But we'll take the supplies for sure. And that will really, really help us out. I will take supplies on destroyers as well. Cannot complain there. And we will come down, and that will help uh, with the hop over to uh, Del Monte over here. Might want to, ab well, we're absolutely going to want to uh, uh, bombard these, actually. We might go and bombard them once each with our support group. Uh, where are we? With the Issei group. Where the bloody hell is that gone? Uh, we'll resupply if that's the case. Um, we have ammunition, actually, for one more bombardment uh, and I want to make this uh, as fuel efficient as possible so we're gonna get rush into Del Monte over here and bombard that uh, already to reduce the airfield level uh, to do so there I think we'll do that now that's gonna take 23 hours so we're not gonna get there under cover of night necessarily there um, we are going to get out some more submarines though Let's just check our income, so 73, that's not pushed us too far, that's uh, unlucky there. Uh, that's okay, we can't complain at all. Um, let's go for... Kedison's not necessarily bad. Um, what's the test depth of that? 75 isn't bad at all. It's got 54 torpedoes, but I believe it only fires two at a time. And I don't particularly like that, to be honest. Um, Kaidai, we're going to go for some Type A's. I think we've used all the Type A's. Then it's uh, Type B's it is. You cannot complain about Type B's. Yeah, the Glen's okay. Not particularly bad. We're going to go for two of those. And these can go. And just uh, have a little poke around Manila. Uh, scouse out around here. Go in around the Philippines and have a look through there. Um, and we'll get a couple more out, I think. We'll go for Type B's again. And where do we want to put these? We might want to put them down to... Uh, hmm. We'll send them out to Rabul for a quick mission there. Uh, but if we don't find anything too much, then we'll bring them back and help out with the Philippines once again, uh, like so. Thinking about uh, reinforcing Haiphong or Hong Kong, really. Could actually uh, take off some uh, troops and supplies from Hong Kong. Uh, might not be a bad idea, actually. Let's take these supplies. Um, these do not have anything on them. That's absolutely fine. Just double check that before we go over there. Um, because it's these supplies, I believe, that, yeah, they do have troops and supplies there as well. So we'll carry on with that, get one more engagement in, I think, and then that'll be good for today. That's our goal done of taking Deval. One down. <laughs> so many more to go. Let's carry on. Now, quite unsurprisingly, we have been uh, intercepted by some sort of bombers uh, while going into um, Bombard Del Monte. It's quite a lot over here. It's Havocs, is it? Okay. No worries there. There's a lot of Mitchells as well, actually. We have asked for smoke cover. Um, so we're going to try and go in with that, of course. Going to take some sort of evasive manoeuvres. We have a lot of juicy targets here. We've got our Tayo, our Fuso, and of course the Issei itself. So that does... Uh, it is uh, quite quite the uh, problem here, actually. I suppose quite the issue. We're going to focus the Mitchells, um, because they're a large group, of course. Um, it's not ideal. They, they do carry similar bombs to Havocs, uh, but they carry them in greater quantities, of course, especially in the numbers that these Mitchells have come in with. We are going to try and get uh, some zeros on every single plane, though. See what we have left over. Might just be this group of three uh, zeros left, though. We might just send them straight over to the Mitchells as well. Uh, but they may be a tad late over there. Let's just carry on like this. Yes, we have these left. 
Uh, just go one, two, and a three. Lovely stuff. Let's get going. Uh, we will break off with Fuso, increase speed, and turn out like this. Break off uh, with Issei like so, increase speed a tad, and turn out like this. We'll go with Hibiki as well, just so that doesn't get any collisions. Uh, where is Tyre over here? Try and break mm. off and just come out here with some minor mm. stuff there. But how are we doing with uh, these bombers then? Not too bad. Down a couple there. Mm. Down three. Lovely. Get some shots out if we mm. can. Not great there. Mm, there's another Mitchell downed. Looks like we're getting on top of the Havocs a tad there. Not quite as well as I'd hoped though. They are going to drop, aren't they? That's the problem. Yeah, these are definitely dropped. Now going for the Unio. Might. Uh, it's going to be far too late, isn't it, to turn that one round? Let's see. Not getting any of these Havocs, unfortunately. Where are the bombs going to drop? Of course, we're getting the plane kills after they've dropped. <laughs> Ooh, hit by a couple bombs there, but nothing too bad. One flight deck out of commission. Mm, get rid of that's completely out, actually. That has been permanently destroyed. I'm not too worried there. We do have a second one, should be okay there. These Havocs have you dropped? They're just doing it. Looks like they're actually going for the heavy cruiser over here. Let's increase the speed and turn into that. The Natchi. Come on. Just out of range to get that havoc, I think, there. Need to increase our speed. Let's have a look. How's the Natchi doing? Come on. I haven't seen any splashes yet. There's a lot of smoke there. I'd be surprised uh, how the bloody hell they aim that. Nothing's taken a while, isn't it? Is it just the Ungyo hit? It was indeed. Let's take a report. Um, we've got more planes about. Are we missing something? We've got some coming in here. What have we got? We've got some B-17s all the way out here. And we have some more Havocs. Okay, let's get on top of that. Let's get on top of that and actually tell our Ungyo to slow down. The fire's not looking great there. Let's slow that to a halt. And we're going to need to move the uh, Mishishio over here, aren't we? Let's move that actually next to it there. Issei can come round actually over here. And uh, Nachi, since uh, you're actually doing fine, let's slow you down and turn it up with these Yugamos and such. The Fuso can do the same, so that we do have some layered fire over there, like so. And I will issue orders for these B-17s in particular, because that is going to be rather horrible. Rather horrible indeed. This is right at uh, early morning as well. So uh, we could still see uh, future attacks on this group. Let's uh, get the majority of our zeros out over here, I think, just to help out with that. Like so, and we'll send, I think, the rest of these Havocs, because they will, of course, still come in. They're not going to wait for us. Certainly not going to wait for us. Okay, so we're getting onto the B-17s now as well. It's one down very quickly. Oh, I'll happily take that. It's very satisfying to see them go down, actually. Very, very satisfying indeed. That's a lot of them down already. That's so, so good. Can we get this final one here? Not quite, but we can go round. It is down. Excellent stuff. Try and get on these Havocs then as quickly as possible. Uh, not going to get the one pass on there today. That's okay. Try and start firing out early for this. Try and get a few stray shots in there. Not going to happen though. Uh, these zeros should now be targeting some Havocs, but they're targeting the retreating ones. Not that it matters too much. They're going to get there far too late. So we'll bring these zeros out over here, I think. Like so. Don't think it's going to help though. What can we do over here? Are we firing out over here? Are we in range? Need to increase your speed, guys, so you do get in range. Come on. 
You can do this. You can do this. <laughs> so glad that gun jams <laughs> aren't a thing in this game because we would have <laughs> clogged up our uh, guns there so, so hard. Uh, we do need to increase your speed, guys. You're really not helping yourselves out here. Really not helping yourselves out. Be on you if we do get hit again. <laughs> Come on, let's get this one over here, shall we? Max speed, great. Are we in range now? We're gonna have to try. Yeah, there we go, getting hits on that. Reduce our speed a tad so we don't wobble so much there. Is that having a struggle? I have to just uh, redo that myself very quickly. There we go. Now I can tell us one to attack here. Start firing out, please. There we go, that's one group down. So we're just gonna make sure we have orders issued for all of these Havocs. Um, but because of the altitude mismatch there, I think it's gonna be a little too difficult to actually get on top of these. Can't actually target this one, there we go. So I'm hoping uh, this group catches up quite easily. But then again, let's talk about the altitude mismatch. We saw that that's out okay. Now it's just a case of actually getting in there quickly because they're fast approaching the Fuso. Hmm, let's get some shots out as quickly as possible. We'll just gonna have to risk it. No point wasting around. Mm. Yep, there's one. Come on. There we go. That's looking much better. It's looking much, much better. Can we get that? Is it gonna drop? It did not drop. You can still see the bombs in the bay there. That is excellent. And I am going to retreat out of that. Thank you. 25 out of 27 shot down. Uh, some minor damage on the Unio, but so we did knock out a flight deck there. Did get on top of all the damage apart from that permanently knocked out uh, flight deck. So we'll see how that impacts us. We do have two flight deck uh, components, um, but if that's knocked us out completely, we're going to have to uh, swap the tyre out to uh, repair there, aren't we? So let's carry on trying to bombard this place since we've uh, gone through that now. Definitely want to bombard it. Okay, we should now be in range over here. The Del Monte is a level 3 airfield. Hopefully we'll be able to reduce that with this uh, short bombardment. Otherwise that would be for nothing. We have actually reduced it. That is excellent. Do have enough shells for another bombard actually. That is going to be the HE, so we might as well go for it actually. Um, just double check that. Yeah, it's just the one uh, level it's gone down. Let's do that again then and that will go down to a level 1. That is absolutely amazing. Job well done. Very much worth it. Um, might have been a little more tactically better to go for uh, Cebu there because it does have the better radar coverage, but uh, the airfield levels are still the same and uh, Del Monte will be our next target. So we'll give uh, these guys the order to um, come out over here and we'll tell them to resupply a truck, of course. It's going to take 78.5 hours not to worry. I'll still wait for these supplies to uh, recycle. Uh, we have sighted some uh, cargo ships over here. It says that's a 10 convoy. Just missed that. Hmm, that's a bit threatening. But leave that for next time. <laughs> leave that for next time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that's uh, quite enough for one day. Got our goals done for today, and that's all we can ask for. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. Um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in the future. I've been the Edified Gamer, and I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.